Hi everyone, Alan from Newlands Nursery. Hope you are well. Welcome to today's Five Minute Friday. Something you can do in the garden that's nice and easy. Um, and what we're doing today is planting up a herb container. Um, but with some of my more favourite herbs, uh, the ones I use a lot more in cooking, but with a slight twist, so they're newer varieties or more interesting varieties that you might not have seen, but can still be used in the same traditional ways. So let's take a look at the varieties. So looking at this one, you'll probably recognise it. This is rosemary, but this is rosemary speedy. And as the name suggests, it's quicker grown. And one of the biggest issues with growing rosemary at home for cooking with is it can be a bit slow. Um, and this is nice and quick. Um, it's much quicker than a traditional rosemary. And if we go to the sage, you might think there's something wrong with this sage. There really isn't. It's a lovely looking sage, which has these hairy leaves to it. Um, this is Sage Snowflake, um, and you can see where it gets the name from. A really, really special Sage that has just been launched this year. Um, it's really, really nice, has this shimmer to it, but can still be used in the same way as common Sage. Um, so nice and easy to use, but looks good as well. If we take a look at this one, this is Golden Marjoram, just here. Um, so you're probably familiar with marjoram. Um, but this is one, one with golden coloration to it. And as the year goes on, it gets even more golden. As the sun shines, if it ever does shine this year, um, then it gets nice and golden as well. Again, can be used in the same way that you would a standard marjoram, stick it on your pizza or something like that. Here we've got uh, Thyme Lucy, and I really like this thyme. So this isn't a particularly new variety, but it's not often grown. Uh, and it's a really, really good thyme, very similar to common thyme, but I think it's got a better flavour. And if you're going to cook with a thyme, this is the best way to do it. And you can, you can see this one has got a really lovely compact habit, so it makes a nice shape to the plant. And the last one on the end here is a mint. So this is Kentucky Kernel, um, a really, really nice mint. And as it gets bigger, it produces these massive leaves, really, really large leaves. Um, and used a lot in cooking. Um, this is particularly good to add to your potatoes or something like that. So here we've got traditional herbs, but just with a slight different twist to them and just a little bit of added extra interest to them. So really, really nice. So although I'm gonna pop them all in this container, one thing that's worth noting is that we've got five herbs here, one of which grows a lot quicker um, and that's the mint. So if you're going to pick it quite regularly, I think you're safe to put these all in this container um, and keep on picking them and use the mint in your cooking and in your teas and stuff like that. But if not, what you can do is pot it up separately. So we'll show you that to begin with. Um, I'm going to plant them all in this five, but if you wanted these herbs in your garden, which would be a good thing to go for, uh, you might want to pot the mint up separately because if it's left to its own devices, it will take over this container. There's no doubt about that. Um, so what I've done is filled this pot with some multi-purpose compost. I'm just tapping it down. And I'm gonna make a, a hole in the compost just bigger than this root ball. You can leave this paper pot on, no need to take it off, that would degrade. And then we just place the mint inside. It's as simple as that. Tuck it in and that's that planted. So if you wanted all of these herbs, but actually would prefer the mint not to take over, if you're not gonna be picking all that often, um, then maybe that's the safest thing to do, um, is pot this one separately and put the other four in a container together. So at the end, what we'll show you is we can pinch them out as well. Okay, and the reason we do that is what we want to do is encourage this to branch out. So with mint, with actually all of these herbs, what we want to do is be picking all of the leaves. We want it to encourage it to branch out, so we want more stems. And if you take the tip out, it will branch out. And as you can see here, that's where it's been stopped for, branch out there, and we're going to get more stems here. So the more stems we've got, the more leaves we've got, and the more we can enjoy the flavour in our cooking and teas. Okay, so let's plant up the container. So what I'm gonna do is add the same multi-purpose compost in here. 
It's a reasonable size container. It's not massive, but a reasonable size container. The reason I've gone for this size is this can still go on a windowsill. Um, so, or balcony or something like that. So if, if you haven't got a garden, this will work perfectly well. Um, and they will grow. As long as they've got a nice lot of light, balcony would be better. A nice sunny balcony would be ideal. Uh, in the summer, in the hot months, some of these plants aren't going to like it quite as much inside. But certainly a balcony or the patio would be perfect. Not everyone's got a lot of space. So that's why I've gone for this size container. So we've got five plants here, some of which grow taller than the others. So let's start at the back. And what I'm going to do is going to plant three plants at the back. Make little holes to begin with. So I'm going to plant in that sort of way. So two at the front, then three at the back. So I'm going to go for one of the taller plants at the back here, the rosemary. So I'll make a hole and just place it in there. Okay, and then we're going to go for a sage at the other end, just like this, like that, and plant that in there. And then in the centre, we we'll go for our mint. Like I said, you could leave that out if you wanted to plant that separately. Then at the front, the shorter growing ones. So we go for the marjoram, which grows relatively short. Um, and actually will almost sort of trail over the side and spill over the time and over the side and the same with the time just at the front and you notice what I did I created a little bit of a pattern so a bit broader at the back and a bit narrower at the front and it just adds to the natural shape of the container and as with these we can take the tips out so I won't for the marjoram it's already branching out nicely and the time the same what I'm going to do is just take the tips out of the taller ones at the back. So the sage there, the mint, and the rosemary. And that will really encourage them to bush out. And these tips that I've taken off here, you can use these already. Um, so you can add that to your cooking um, and use those. Nothing wrong with those. Or you could use them as a cutting. And we've got five minute videos on that to do at home. So it's as simple as that. All that's left to do is give them a good water. And these plants have obviously just gone in here. So when I say good water, I mean a good water. There's a fair amount of moisture in this compost already, but this is kind of the stage you can't overwater it. So I give it a good water, wait until it really soaks in and don't forget your mint if you planted that separate as well. So give it a good water. Now, this spring the weather hasn't been quite as warm as other springs um, but these are quite hardy plants depending what the weather's going to be like they could probably go straight outside but if you want to be cautious and i think it's always worth being cautious maybe keep them inside just while they settle down a little bit and then when the weather gets nicer which it will eventually um, then plant put the pot outside and the plants outside um, over time if you want to as these establish and maybe slightly outgrow this container, these will grow really well in the garden as well um, or in separate pots. So you could always do that at a later stage. As always with our five minute Fridays, if you've got any questions at all, get in contact. See you soon.